risk of manipulation is incredibly high. It's never been so easy to just live in a bubble, right, and just uh, uh, hear views that you agree with. And that is, that is an issue, but I think one thing I notice in the way that people search is that they just want to know the facts. People don't always want to just be reinforced and have their views reinforced. There's a real hunger there to find out the truth. At the same time, we have social media and the big kind of fight against uh, misinformation. So it's an incredibly dramatic time in, in our history, but also in the way that, that we understand the internet. Search is often really um, honest. It's, it's, you get a real sense of what people genuinely care about in the way that they search. Because you know, on social media you're worried about appearing stupid or you want to, to appear to be clever. But on search you're completely honest. And especially at a time when polling itself is kind of questioned and people don't trust polling in the way they used to. And maybe this kind of data can complement that and give people a better understanding of of what their electorates care about. I think data helped us really understand during the election the way the campaign was going. And that to me is, is really interesting because as journalists and reporters we can really understand how people's views and um, attention span change during the campaign. There are now thousands of data journalists around the world who are producing kind of amazing reporting where they're really trying to give people context and help people understand these really complicated issues that they face. That to me is really exciting and I think that is going to help us um, help us fight off this, 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 this kind of cyber war that I guess we're all involved in now. Sure.